All right, in this tip video, or it's not really a tutorial, but I'm just going to show you how to adjust the origin point of a object. And the origin point is essentially the center of balance. And I'm going to explain why it matters, especially when it comes to physics objects. Now, I have a really simple scene set up. It's just a hammer, and it's a rigid body object. The cube and the floor are rigid body objects. Of course, the cube and the floor are passive, which means they don't fall with gravity, but the hammer does. Now, right now, the... <coughs> I still got a little bit of cough from when I was sick a couple weeks ago. It may have been the Rona, not 100% sure, which, uh, you know, a lot of people have lingering cough afterwards, which is probably why I still have a cough nearly four weeks after I got sick. All right, but right now, the center of origin is right here, and that center of origin is essentially this point right here it's set by the uh, origin to geometry which basically it just calculates the amount of geometry that's in it and then puts the origin point in the center which now uh, it's not exactly right it's obviously not right for a hammer but we'll just show you what that looks like it falls somewhat okay until it gets to this point and it didn't look quite right <coughs> all right now if we think about how a hammer is the end right here is nothing but metal and then this handle is generally wood or fiberglass and wood or fiberglass is obviously a lot less in weight than iron or steel so if you was to figure out what the balance point of this would be considering this is metal and this is wood or fiberglass it would probably be about right here now the question is how do we move that now there is an old way which is the way I essentially did a long time ago I would essentially just left click to move my uh, cursor to right here and then I would go in the top side view and then grab the hammer and move it over like that and then go object set origin to 3d cursor now I've, I've moved the origin right there <clears throat> and if I press play it should react more like a hammer would where it's much heavier on that one end see now that looked more realistic it's running slow because I had the speed slowed down so we can actually watch it and analyze it I mean realistically the speed would be something like this oh. alright now let me set this back to 0.5 that way we can analyze it better now let me change the I press control Z a bunch of times until the origin point was moved back to its basically the origin to geometry point right <clears throat> now I'm gonna show you a better way to go about moving this now what you could do you could press control and then period control period and I'm not talking about the period on your number pad it's the period just just above and to the right of your spacebar and basically you press control period to enter it press control period to exit but right now I'm in basically center of origin uh, manipulation mode I guess you could call it I'm not sure what what is actually called but essentially these control arms are attached to the, the origin point and if I was to grab this on the x-axis now I'm dragging the origin point around so if I was to like, like put the origin point way out here 
then if I was to press control um, period to exit that now my center mass is way out here now of course the physics are going to not look right at all because out here is going to be extremely heavy and this area is going to be extremely light see that just looks wonky <laughs> all right so let's change this a little bit press control period to enter into origin edit mode I guess you could call it and I'm gonna press grab and I'm gonna stick this where I think the center of origin should be and you you could adjust it on the top side too which I actually think it's a little bit no nah, it, it looks like it's a little bit too far this way just slightly grab Y alright and then press control period to exit now once again if I was to play it it should look for the most part correct albeit slow now let me turn the speed up so we can see it in real time Two. it's probably still a little slow let me go up to three because one thing I got this hammer pretty large <coughs> I mean, it's actually like nine feet long, so yeah. Yeah, that looked fairly realistic. Of course, a hammer would bounce some, but that's another tutorial. Now, just for fun, let's move this to a really weird spot and just see what happens. Let's press control period to enter that origin manipulation mode and then press G for grab and then the X axis and then just put it right here in the center now what do you think will happen when it falls I'm thinking because this is the center of mass origin that it's just gonna fall straight down and then just stop I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen now if I press play yeah so you so you can basically see how the center of origin will change how these objects react when it comes to physics okay I guess that's about it before I have a big coffin fit or something I guess I'm gonna end this video if you have any questions leave a comment in the video and I will try to answer it later people